Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving the, the error message that the operation being requested was not performed because the user has not been authenticated. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial here guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So perhaps you're trying to map a network drive or do a web share that requires specific user credentials and maybe you've entered these credentials as well and when you select the option to reconnect at logon and you've restarted your computer and you're coming across this error message in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve that so start by opening up the start menu type in regedit so r-e-g-e-d-i-t best match trickle back or registry editor you want to go right click on that and then select run as administrator if you receive a user account control prompt select yes now I would recommend creating a backup of the registry before you proceed so in the event that you need to restore your registry back you can and in order to create the backup it's very simple just go ahead and left click on the file tab select export file name I would suggest naming it the date in which you are making the backup export range should be selected to all and then save it to a convenient location on your computer and then just select save to save it and then if you ever need to import it back in, you just would select file and then import. So again, pretty straightforward process, and then just navigate over to the registry value. So pretty straightforward, select OK. And then once you have done the backup, we're ready to begin, and we're going to expand the HK local machine folder. So go ahead and double click on that. Double click on the system folder. And now it should be a current control set folder listening here. You want to go ahead and double click on that. You want to double click on that. And then you want to double click on the services folder, so double click on that one too. And then there should be a web client folder. So we're going to just scroll down here. Just go ahead and double click on that. And there should be finally a parameters folder, so just left click on that one time. On the right side, you want to right click in a blank area, select new, and then select the word 32 bit value. I'm going to have a D word in the description of the video, so you want to just paste it into this field here, or you can just type it out too. It should say auth forward server list, so A U T H F O R W A R D S E R V E R L I S T. First letter of each word should be capitalized here as it appears on my screen. Hit enter on your keyboard, and now that you've done that, you want to go right click on it. And select modify. Now in the value data box here you want to go type in whatever the URL of the server that's hosting the website. So again you should have this already available. It should actually say it too. You want to enter in whatever server you're having the problem with here in the value data field. And then select OK. Once you're done with that you should close out of here, restart your system and that should hopefully be about it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.